got me into art was just the joy of drawing. Um, I've been drawing since I was a little, little kid. <laughs> I think the first thing I drew was a horse watching Gunsmoke, which might tell my age. But <laughs> I always enjoyed it and was always taking the art classes throughout my school year, majored and got a BFA in um, art and in graphic design because um, I had to please my father who didn't think that a fine artist could make any money. The computer came out. I really wanted to start digital art and start drawing on digital art. The only problem was is that <clears throat> I couldn't find textures. I couldn't find textures that were big enough for the paintings that I wanted to do digitally. And a lot of them were blurred. Um, so you could only use the very middle of it, which wasn't big enough. So I started painting my own textures so I could get the actual full texture use. Found out I had photographers who wanted to use these um, textures on their photographs to make them look more painterly. Um, so I started developing large 7200 pixel textures with these um, photographers who wanted to do 72 inch, print out 72 inch photography with these textures, you know, which is huge, but they also needed to be high resolution. Probably the other difficult thing was trying to explain to um, traditional painters that this isn't a cheat, um, that I'm not adding textures and calling my photograph a painting from scratch, and yet they kind of think that that's what people do. They push a button on the computer and out pops out this beautiful painting-like thing <laughs> um, that but they just don't realize you can actually use a Wacom tablet and a pen, a sensitive pen, to actually draw and paint like you would on a regular canvas. I enjoy telling a story in my paintings. I enjoy textures just for the texture's sake of what it looks like. Um, I love the way a paint stroke will go across a canvas and it'll catch and you'll catch the, the canvas um, behind the paint stroke at times when it's thinner or when it gets really thick, the ridge on a paint stroke. And you can get that in digital art. Um, you just have to know how to do it. Um, and I've been learning that for several years now. You know, art is important to how we feel. And art can be a number of different things coming from the graphic design background, that's all about communicating very quickly with an audience within the first two or three seconds. What is your product? Is it important to you? On the other extreme end of that is your fine art, which tells a world view. You know, what is going on in the world? Painting started out as your newspaper. You know, this is what's important. Um, this is what's, they're, they're not gonna paint what's not important. <laughs> um, you know, what did the church want the people to know? They painted that. Um, in between that, you have everything from posters to um, fine art that, you know, sets, sets in your house and makes you feel good. Um, it is very hard to go into a stark house that has no um, pictures and paintings. I, the first thing kids do when they leave for college is get all the posters they want um, to stick up on their walls because it's visual and people need that visual impact. 